Celtics. I love my Celtics. I mean, I'm a, I'm a die-hard Boston Celtics fan. But, but um, I also want to tell you, maybe when we're going over in the vans, maybe we can uh, talk a little bit about the uh, the uh, little slugfest we had with the U.S. Air Force. Uh. At the corpsman's level, mm -hmm. how much do the politics at home negatively impact morale? They do, uh, but they're concerned. First of all, these kids are incredibly well read. They can be in the field for 30 days and somehow they still know what's happening back here in, in the debate. And I think it's because they are so super sensitive to it. Uh, when we crossed the line in 03, uh, probably some other people in the room here, but I know Sweet Pea was, uh, we went out to talk to the troops in major formations uh, before we went into Iraq. And, you know, uh, there was a threat of, of weapons of mass destruction, artillery concentrations, all those things that could befall these kids. They weren't worried about that. The number one question was, is the country behind us? And that has remained a question in their mind uh, this entire time. Now, uh, but now I think it's fair to say that they're concerned about sort of the, the, the shift, the movement that they read about where less people are supportive of the war. You know, I think, I think they get it, and I think our country gets it, that you cannot support the war, but you're still going to support the troops. And that's important. Uh, but they would say, we want the whole enchilada, okay? It is going to be the biggest operation of its kind in Afghanistan, and it's probably going to be tough. We hear varying estimates of how many truly bad guys are in there, uh, but enough that uh, there are going to be some tough days ahead. Rely on your buddies on either side of you, okay, because that's what's going to get you through this thing in the, in the final analysis. You've got one residing fear. It ought to be that somehow you fail to do your job when he realizes we can come into what he considers the strongest area that he's got in Helmand province, and that's the toughest province in the country right now, that's going to send a pretty strong it's message. It's truly warriors like you that the American people look at and say they are proud to be a damn American because of what the Marines are doing. So again, God bless y'all and simplify Dallas. <laughs> I just called him and uh, I told him we're running just a few minutes behind, so he's idling right now. He's going to get up, uh, do a couple loops in the sky, and uh, he's going to do one flyby and come down and, uh, and land. But uh, that's probably that's probably ours right there.
these are only going about 20%, obviously, because there's no reason for them to hurt each other or kill each other. We, it, this is not a sport. It's, a, it's, it's definitely not a sport. I told you to stay back. I'm just doing my job. Well, stay down. Roll over. Stay down. Turn away from the sound of my voice. Now, Sergeant Badan right now Bombs is what we call a Cross guardian angel overwatch.